Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to World of Contraptions, which might be the final episode of the campaign here, because you may remember in the last episode, we unlocked the last little section of campaign levels, which is the extreme campaign levels. But something happened. So something changed, and the game actually got an update. So when I go back into campaign here, uh, you may see that... Uh, there are some levels that are no longer completed and there are, it's not that they're no longer completed It's that they've been inserted. They're new levels that have been inserted in here. So there's one there There's one here. They're all based on the same a similar concept apparently one here What has happened is uh, some of the hard levels have actually gone into extreme one and There is now an extreme two so technically, yeah, we've done some of the, oh, this one, this one is definitely not extreme. This was like medium at best, but it looks like we got these two levels and then we have a whole new batch, not a whole new batch, but then we have uh, uh, other extreme levels. So we're going to have to complete one more level to unlock. So what I'm thinking about doing here is since all of the new levels that have been added are based on the same concept, but they just build in complexity. You can see this is the thing with just one button, it looks like. This has a button that you need a box. This has three buttons with three different boxes. And that's it so far. So let's just do the hardest one of these new levels. And that'll unlock the next extreme and we can take off from where we started off. So I don't know how long it's going to take to complete these, but I've been having a blast playing this game. I really find the building mechanics in this refreshing. Um, and a good contrast to uh, some of the other games I play on the channel. And I'm excited to see what these final levels are going to be like. So let's get into it. This is called Open the Hatch. This is a hard level. All right, so it seems like we just got to put these things over there. And this is similar to a challenge that I did previously that I'm hoping I say... <laughs> Can we do this? No, that's not going to be long. We're not going to be able to reach. Um, but I'm hoping it's going to be similar uh, enough that I can use... This thing. This is this is kind of a ridiculous creation, but let's see if it works. How do I use it? Okay, there we go. There's that. There's that. All right, so we got to get... Let's do the green one first. Oh, there's some new parts added, by the way. I'll show you the new parts after this challenge. That's also part of the update is brand new... Brand spanking new parts. Okay, so this green one. I don't know if I can do this. They're going to hit... All right, one modification needs to be made. And now I can take the opportunity to show you the new parts. Uh, so let's go into inventory here. So here they are, the entire page right here. We have a bunch of pipes. Yeah, so these pipes are gonna make it easier to build more compact forms of your creations because the blocks are just massive sometimes. But what I wanna do with this is uh, we need pretty much this method, but I think we only need a single one of these pistons, but they're also going to need to be on a pist like a piston that goes upwards. Is this a piston? No, that's a hinge. All right, so now it should work. Let's go ahead and grab blue, I guess. Okay, that did not grab blue. Let's bring this in. Grab blue, then lift it up. Okay, that should prevent us from having that collision issue. Oh, that piston is not very sturdy. Oh, that is not a sturdy piston at all. But this should be fine. Look at that, just like that. Let go! No, 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 no! No! That's okay, I got this. Look at that. Expert, expertly done, just like that. All right, let's bring the piston back down. And suction cup activate. Bring it back up. Bring this in so it doesn't... If this snaps on the last one, I'm going to be so angry. Bring this one over. Why am I not extending my piston? I'm just like driving off. There we go. Make sure it's actually on this time. Perfect. What just happened? What... What actually just- did the cone do that? <laughs> did that cone really just flip me over? I can't believe that just happened. You know, I'm just gonna- I'm gonna push these cones up. I'm gonna go, there we go. Push the cones off because apparently these things are a hazard. All right, here it comes. Last one. I don't know what actually happens. Oh. That should be fine, right? We just fall in and we're good. There we go. We're in the target. <laughs> 
All right, that was okay. So now we should have access to all the extreme levels, I believe. Yeah, here we go. All right, so starting with this one, this looks like it's just uh, avoid the bombs raceway. So let's just load in our smallest vehicle and see if I can drive good. Yeah, this is just, we just have to weave in between the bombs. Should be fine. Long circuit with mines. I, they are proximity though. I don't, it, they won't just explode by getting, by hitting them. They'll also explode just by being near them. And what does that, that probably just raises this gate so you can't go back. So you know what? This is the tutorial car pretty much. Um, let me delete these and then delete this. And then let's give this course a try. There we go. So now we will follow the camera. All right, this doesn't actually feel super better. Ugh. Whoa! What? Wait, 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 what? Do they... Do... Th do... No. Hold on a second here. Do they continue to explode a after they've been triggered? What? What? This course is not- I thought that they would- I have to be in proximity with them for a certain time while the beeper's going, and I thought if I get out of that range, it won't explode. But it looks like it just activates it, and then it'll end up exploding, even if I'm not near it. Which sets off a ripple effect, because they explode other ones, and oh my goodness, this is terrifying! Okay, we're safe, we're safe right here. Let's let the ones that are exploding explode, because they're triggering each other too. This is gonna clear the way out. Oh my goodness. This is like luck. This is a pure luck run. That's what this is. Oh, we got a whole run here of them. All right, let's, all right, you know what? Let's trigger that one and back up. Let's see what happens. See, look at that. This is the strategy now. We're just gonna do one at a time. One at a time. I wanna play it safe. I don't wanna have to restart that because I, I think I lucked out surviving what I got through to be honest. Okay, let's trigger a couple of them. Look at that. See, look at that. Now a whole bunch are gonna get triggered. Look at that. Whoa. Well, imagine if I just fall off just due to bad driving, like nothing to do with the bombs. That'd be embarrassing, but totally possible at this rate. Yeah, okay. All right. See, I, th I think I'm doing the big brain play here. I'm keeping the area behind me clear while I slowly clear out the area in front of me. I think this is gonna work out perfectly fine. No issues whatsoever. Oh boy. This is so messed up that he did this, or she, or they, or I don't know if it's a single developer or not. Ah, that was close. That was kind of close. All right, well, that cleared the way in front of me quite a bit. I think I'm good though. Now that I, now that I keep just slowly clearing out the ways in front of me, I have a safe spot always to go back to. Whereas at the start, that gate comes up and you have no safe spot to retreat to. So that's not a good situation to be in. But we survived the initial wave and that gives you a safe space. Oh, I almost didn't see that one right there. All right, playing the ramp safe. Definitely playing the ramps a little. Oh, this one's gonna be tougher. I have to trigger it then back upwards on the ramp. All right, that wasn't bad. I didn't know how the ramp physics were gonna behave. I was a little bit worried I didn't back up enough there. Oh, wow. That was actually, oh boy, oh boy. All right, we're clear. We're clear. All I have to do is not mess up on this last turn. All right. Imagine trying to just barrel your way through that without stopping. That'd be absolutely insane. That was the longest by far, the longest I've ever, I think, ever taken to complete a challenge from start to finish. All right, what's next? We're in the extremes now. This is extreme number 50. Find the key crates. Okay. So, oh, oh. So there's a key to that, and I think it's hidden in one of those crates. So we may actually need to destroy some crates with a cannon. And we'll set the cannon to space. All right, so we trigger this. This should drop the things. And then I realized, oh, oh no. We don't have to find it in a box. We have to get it out of here. And I forgot the cannons only have three bullets anyway. So the cannon's completely useless here. We need, I know what we need. Here we go. So we use this and I'm just gonna put a suction cup on the front of this. And this is not going to be easy, but if we can get to the box, 
We should at least, if I can just dig my way through to the box, then I should be able to drive over this with my six wheels backwards. Yeah, because see, I can drive over that no problem. I think I know the strategy. I just gotta actually dig my way through digging with a plunger. Have you ever, you ever thought of something so inconvenient and terrible as digging with a plunger? <laughs> That's essentially what I gotta do here. One barrel at a time. All right, please let me get the box this time. Yes, I got the box. All right, now watch. Now by reversing, I'll be going wheels first. That wasn't part of the plan. That was not part of the plan. Look at the wheel almost put itself back on practically. The, my own wheel is tripping me up right now. I can't believe this. All right, now I hope I have enough room to do that. Oh, dang it. Get on the switch, please. There we go, it's on the switch. And now I safely and accurately drive around it. And we're in the target. All right, another extreme level done. That one wasn't so bad, but what's the next one gonna be? Wait, hold on, let's go back to menu. I wanna make sure, I wanna confirm here. I think we're officially on to extreme two. Yep, here we go, extreme two. Oh no, I remember looking at the picture of this one and I was not looking forward to it. Early on in the series, I think one of the easy levels, this was actually one of the harder levels, but I had to lift up a gate and it was terrible. It was like actually terrible. Um, I did not do well on it and I kind of lucked out, but now I have to lift up the gate and place a box. <gasps> nope, no, nope, I just, I thought I had an idea and I just thought of how it's not gonna work. See, the issue with lifting up this gate is whatever you put under this rail to lift it up, that is then not going to fit underneath the actual gate. So that's a problem. And that makes it difficult to get under the gate once you've lifted up the gate. I kind of thought of a, a better version of what I did before. I used pistons that were detachable. So I was able to lift it up and then detach it. And I think, I think I have an idea now. This is gonna be interesting. Here's where pipes are gonna come in handy. Straight pipe straight pipe and then elbow pipe here and then straight pipe here all right guys check this out let's make sure this works yeah so that's gonna lift the door and then wait do you see how i do this looks like we're good i'm gonna go ahead and lift up the door like that look at that and then press e oh no 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 wrong way all right it's working it's working so now that just holds the door for us and then we can do the rest of the challenge like normal. That would have been so much easier if I just did that the first time around. That was so much easier. All right, get on the thing. Stay and stay on the thing. Yeah. All right, and now we go around it gently. Look at that. Look at that. That worked out really, really well. I was really worried about this challenge, but I came up with a solution and it worked. And now I feel good about myself. Okay, so now, pass two crate. We have a vehicle for this. And I think it's gonna be hilarious. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be awesome. All right, let me save this thing, because this thing's amazing. All right, this is it right here, but this has a bunch of useless parts on it from when I needed to go across a wide area. So let's just delete these. Unnecessary, I think. I hope. I hope it's unnecessary. And let's play. What are my controls? Oh boy. Probably should have. I'm gonna add some weight to this. Actually, let's add some weight because uh, that's aggressive. Look. <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh, it's like an excited dog, but the tail's on its head. Oh, that's, that's a weird image. Eh, I'll deal with it. We'll see what happens. All right, we'll put this down. Space is to turn it on. So this, ooh, I should have put more weight blocks apparently. We'll put that, oh no, hold on. This got, this got suddenly more difficult and I lost a wheel. All right, more weight blocks needed. All right, I hope I didn't add too much weight. Is this thing gonna be like too heavy for its own good? Oh, that feels decent. I wish I could change the speed of those hinges, but I can't. All right, so we're just gonna, 
We're just gonna move this over to the other side for now. Why is my wheel falling off? It's just the one wheel. Um, maybe I'll try different wheels. Well, that's not any better. <laughs> These wheels are definitely not any better. Wow, okay, so the weight, the weight makes a big issue or makes a big difference then because clearly this can't even support its own weight. No, I want to see something here. I think there is a option, select block pivot. No, not that. I think there's an option to change the way a block attaches to something. If I can make this a rotating thing, show center of mass, change the connection. Here we go. Change the connection from fixed. Oh, that's how it works. So now if I go into, oh, oh, stepper spin. This is what I need. This changes everything. We now have uh, bearing abilities. This is what I wanted. All right, so we're gonna go Q and E, or I guess E and Q, looking at the way that's going. All right, let's do a quick test here. Mm, that's not working. Oh, it needs to be hooked into an engine, of course. Let's add another engine. Yeah, this is changes like the whole game. This opens up a whole new uh, area or category of mechanisms that I didn't know that I could do until just now. All right, so this hooks up to that and now, Yep. Yep, that's right. That right there is what I needed. That is what I needed right there. We're gonna go from top to top, top to top, and then that should make it... Yeah, now I don't actually rub. All right, this is so cool. This is so cool now. All right, so I can do this. Oh, it would help if I actually put the control of the uh, suction cup. I can do this. And uh, lift up the piston. Oh, there we go. Wait, I don't want to do that though. I actually want to carry this with me a little bit. Okay, please, please work. Look at this, look at this, look at this, ready? Just gonna put this right next to that. Put the piston down, grab it, put the piston up. Turn this around. This is feeling good. This is feeling very satisfying. Let go. And now I turn this around. Yeah, put the piston down. Grab this. Oops. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Am I gonna be able to move forward enough to not die? Put the piston up. Put the piston down. Oh, I thought that was gonna take off the front of my vehicle. I can't believe that worked. <sighs> All right, that was good. That was a good one. I enjoyed that one a lot. I feel so much better now that I know how to make a bearing in this game. I feel like I, I, I'm just, I'm golden now. All right, what is next? We're getting so close to the end here. We got three more levels left. Open the hatch, extreme. Oh, this is a mod, whoa. This is a modification of, uh, it's one of those new ones. Wow. Okay, wait, 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 what? What? Whoa. Whoa. All right, I don't know if you guys are understanding what's happening here, but there's three blocks and there's four buttons. Each of these blocks, blue block goes there, green block goes there, red block goes there. Something else goes here, which is like, I think I have to detach something from my creation to push that final button. Okay, I think we have everything we need right here. Up, down, forward, back, on, off, and detach. I think that's acceptable. All right, let's do it. Uh, we're gonna start with the red one, I suppose. Let's hope I can drive around all right. I do have that weight, which helps a lot with this. All right, oh, I should have put that on toggle. I didn't put that on toggle, so I gotta make sure I hold it. All right, up more. Uh, don't tip over. All right, let's just go down. Let's just let's just go out to the edge here and extend outwards. Wow, wow, that worked. That actually worked. 
This is I didn't even real I didn't even consider that this needs timing. All right, come on. Grab it. Thank you. Okay. <gasps> oh man, this is nerve wracking. Okay, let's just. I was gonna try to beat it over here, but let's just play it safe. We'll line it up like this. All right. Please don't mess up. Please don't mess up. Please don't mess up. Please don't mess up. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, this is working. I'm worried about the last one, actually. The final drop, because that's going to take a while to drop down. All right, and drop. Yeah. Oh, what happened? No. Oh, man. All right, this is gonna work. Wait, wait, let me, let me, I wanna test out the last one real quick. We go over. Dang it, I gotta wait for it to come back around. All right, I'm a little bit worried about this because it's gonna hit the thing on the way down. All right, ready and drop. Okay. Yeah, that's all I need to do. All right, let's do the challenge for real now. Oh, you know what I should do? I think the hardest one is going to be that one, that uh, button. So let me do that one first, get that out of the way. And that also decreases some of the weight. All right, ready and drop. See, that's why. That's why I want to do that one first. All right, ready and drop early. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so the hard one's done. Now we just got to be consistent with these next three. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. Okay, and drop. <sighs> it felt easy when I first started this challenge, but now it's not easy. Ready, drop. And drop. I want to try to drop it actually in this time. Block number one. That one's good. All right, here it is. Here it is. And drop. Perfect. Perfect. I think I see what I did wrong before. I think it's because I grabbed the box at an angle that it wasn't dropping in straightly aligned wall to wall. And that made it way more likely to bounce out. So I think I really need to grab it flat on like that all right and drop perfect one more guys one more all right here it comes and drop yes yes it actually worked oh man that was a rough one okay second to last one now reach the crates is this going to be an issue this wall this wall is gonna be a big issue. What? Oh man, I didn't notice that when I saw the thumbnail of this. I didn't know it was a different height. Are you kidding me? We have to build such a versatile mechanism? <sighs> There's a lot wrong with this. This is so difficult, guys. This is another level here. This is more than extreme. Because not only do we have to have a mechanism that can pick up every single one of these blocks, but we also need to be able to get these blocks over this wall and into these spots, which means we also need to get an entire vehicle over this wall. And then when these blocks are all in these spots, blocking this entire pathway, this bridge is gonna come down and we need, to, we need to get past these blocks onto the bridge without knocking them off again. I don't know guys, like I don't know what vehicle can do all of this. All right, there's one mechanism I can think of um, that can get all of these blocks. And that is actually just doing this and then adding another piston that goes down. And then you just add this right here and make sure it's detached from that. Oh, one thing we can actually do here, let me copy that, and delete it. And we can also try to put this like that and we can attach that entire thing onto here so we can rotate it now. All right, so now let's see if this works. I can rotate that. I can still extend this. I can still extend this. And now I can also extend this. And I just need to assign this to toggle on space. All right, so now check this out. Rotate this that way and bring this down. Oh, it doesn't go down far enough. Unless I just put it on the bottom. All right, and now down. Yeah. Up. 
up again? Can this go over the wall? I don't need to go over the wall. You know why? Because I can do this. There we go. And then... Number two. Alright, that can't reach all the way out that way. But at least we have it over there, right? Oh, no, no, okay. Come on. And then bring it back. Bring it down. This is a ridiculous creation, guys. But once I get them all over there, then what? Then what do I do? Unless... Oh, no way! I cannot believe the idea that I just got. Alright, well, let's see if I can get them all over there, first of all. Alright, bring it on down. Bring it on up. Bring this out. You think I can bring it over like this? Alright, yep, bring it over. Perfect. Let's just drop it. Bring it back. This, this creation, man. I am so glad I realized about the changing the uh, bearing point. Now go out. Come on. Oh, that is wobbly. All right, and down. Up. Oh, it's heavy, it's heavy, it's heavy. Okay, good, good, good. Yep. That's good, that's good, that's good. Bring this back. Alright, are you ready for the... The big... The big epic move here? That I have no idea if I'm gonna destroy myself with this or not. But, here we go. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead, activate the suction cup. And I'm gonna put this suction cup down. Right here. Bring myself up. Oh, no, it doesn't work this way. Hold on. I rotate at that point, not the other point. Okay, okay. No, this is... No, this isn't going to work the way I thought it was. Oh, I was thinking I was going to rotate myself over, but it doesn't work that way. Can it? This is the machine, guys. It should have everything that we need. I really hope it has everything that we need. Activate this. Put it down. Lift it back up. And then I gotta head over here, and I can't lift this up above the wall, but what I can do is extend it out this way. And then I can turn it over here and drop it off. Just like that. No issues. No issues at all. And then I don't even have to move from this spot. I can go ahead and put this down. I can go right over to this thing. I can actually back up a little bit. And now I can move this one down, just like that. Bring it back up, move back forward a little bit, nice and gentle. Swing this arm. <sighs> I'm okay, everything's fine. Um, yeah, lift this up a little bit. <laughs> Bring this forward. And swing this arm gently over. There we go. And we drop that off. Bring this back. Okay, this is going well so far. This is going well so far. Just the right length. Bring it in. There we go. Up a little bit. And turn it over here. Let's just send it out a little bit more. Look at that. Perfect. Okay, now to get myself over there. Are you guys ready for this? This is an untested part of the vehicle. It is the newest addition, and it is the thing I've been having the most difficulty with, and I'm hoping that I solved my problem entirely with this new addition. So let's see here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and park myself right here, and then I extend this forward. Make sure we're above the wall here. Go around. That cone is actually bothering me. That's annoying. Wow. All right, let's go up over the cone, down, 
And can we just knock the cone off? There we go. No more bothering. Okay, so here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. This is... So what everything's been building up to right now. Alright, activate the suction cup. Suction onto the ground. And then lift my entire vehicle up. And now my suction cup has a rotating hinge on, or has a rotating part on it. So now I do this. Oh my goodness, it's working. <gasps> don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break. Please don't break. I'm swinging so much involuntarily right now. All right, let myself, how do I let myself down? What's my control on that one? Here we go. Gently down and let go. Bring this in. All right, I'm gonna do... I just need to do these now. Right, there we go. Just bring this in. All right, put the... Oh, what am I doing here? I have so many controls on this, guys. All right, let's just drop the red one down. There is one. I'm gonna do the green one last. If this thing breaks in this section before I finish, I'm gonna be so annoyed. All right, and... There's number two. This is insanity. The amount of articulation I needed for this challenge. Bring this down. Bring this up. Now I'm gonna back up onto the other side of these. I'm gonna line myself up so I can go across this bridge backwards. All right, that should be good enough to work with. Now I drop that off. And now I just bring everything in for optimal weight distribution so I don't flip over. All right. Oh, oh man. Woo. Woo, that was the biggest brain challenge. That one, dude, there's one more though. There's, wait, no, there's not one more. Is there, did I, was that it? Was that it? Did I beat, did I beat? No, let's go back to menu. Did I beat it? Did I beat the game? Yes, extreme two had only four challenges. I thought there was a fifth challenge because every single thing else has five challenges. Oh man, that was definitely the hardest challenge out of all of them by far. And that was the craziest build that I had to build to accomplish that. So I am so proud of myself. Please leave a like on this video because my brain is frying right now. It is like, it is an overheat mode. I need to get out of this office. Everything's hot in here. I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the game. It's been a super fun game to play. Uh, let me know if you guys wanna, if, when they come up with more updates, let me know if you wanna see any more of this game. There is sandbox. There is gonna be user levels and stuff like that. Are there user levels right now? There are Steam Workshop levels, so this is a potential thing here. We could do Steam Workshop levels as well. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. All right, if you missed the earlier challenges in this uh, series, then go ahead and check out this stuff on the end screen right here. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.